Hey guys and welcome back to another video on the Road Builder YouTube channel. Today we're back in Blender and back to making some random assets. And I think we're gonna do some lunch food today. Last time we did some breakfast food as you can see right here. And I think today we're gonna do some lunch food. And I finally got screencast keys so you guys can kind of uh, keep up. Anyways, I am thinking a cup of soda first, so we'll get that done because it'll be super, super simple. We're going to start out with a cylinder. We'll go probably like eight sides on here because it doesn't need to be too much. Into edit mode we go. Oh my gosh, when you get so many assets in Blender, the camera just starts messing up so much. But we're just going to scale the bottom down a little bit and then bring the top up. Something like this, and then we're going to put two loop cuts in. Perfect. Grab our face select here. Alt E, extrude along face normals, bring those out just a little bit, so we'll have something like this. Alright, now the top, excuse me, the top we're gonna do ES, perfect, I am gonna drop this down a little bit, and then I'm gonna bring it up, sort of for our lid here guys, we're gonna inset, and then extrude in, inset on this, extrude back up, something like this, oh gosh, hello? I can't move my uh, my camera. Oh, I told you guys, when you get so many models, it just gets kind of scuffed. So something like this for our cup, guys. And then, of course, we need a spot for the straw. And honestly, I think I'm just going to inset this again and use that to make the straw. Extrude it down, scale it in, extrude it up. Perfect. The camera's really getting dodgy. <laughs> We're going to angle this a little bit, rotate it like so, and then extrude it again. Bring this down some rotate it and let's see we're gonna have to fix this little uh the angle here all right so something like that and then we have our cup let me go ahead and inset this real quick or you know what i should probably have an idea i'm gonna grab this p selection and then i will just delete that face and add a small solidify modifier on here just like this and then we'll just apply it there we go now we could join these back together and we have a straw perfect now after we have our soda this straw's kind of long i think uh let me kind of let me kind of shrink that a little bit all right after we have our soda we're gonna go ahead and make let's do a let's do a set of napkins real quick just like a little pile of napkins because those are gonna be super super simple i'm gonna use a plain and add a solidify modifier to it pretty good uh we're gonna go a little thicker Wow, that might be, like, too thick for a napkin. <laughs> there we go. We'll do something like this. Perfect. I'm gonna do shift D, move one to the back. There we go. And now I will just make a little pile of assorted napkins by doing shift D and moving them up and rotating a little bit. So we'll move this guy up. Perfect. Rotate it just like that. We can grab a face because we don't need to make too many. So, like, this will simplify that there's more than one napkin kind of facing that way if that makes sense and then we'll do shifty again bring this one up and then we'll rotate it a little bit like this and guys now we have a little pile of napkins so what i'm gonna do is i could join all of these together i can go back in here and uh clean this up like i'd be able to de to delete some of these bottom faces if i absolutely wanted to but it's not a high poly model by any means so i don't think it's gonna be too too important Let's go ahead and move the napkins back here, the cup back as well. Up next, let's make the little tray that everything's going to sit on. For that, we're just going to go ahead and use a cube, hop on into edit mode, grab the bottom, hold control to click it on up, grab the top, click that one down. Oh, yikes. Let's go like this. And the trays are usually rectangular, so S and Y. Perfect. Make it something like this, I would say. Now I'm going to grab this top face right here and inset it extrude it downwards perfect and the bottom face here could probably come up to guard that and then we're going to extrude it a little bit and scale it in so we have something like this for the tray guys shade smooth and auto smooth as always there we go and let's move the tray back as well way back here up next guys let's make a burger okay a whole burger i feel like we gotta do it and to do this, I think I'm going to go with a cylinder that has, let's say, 12 sides, maybe 16. 16 might be a little high. We're going to we're gonna go 12. There we go, guys. Now, the bottom bun is the easy one, all right? You just have to bevel this a little bit. Like this is a bottom burger bun. We're already good. We're going to duplicate it, flip it over 180 degrees. But the top bun, guys, you have to know the top bun 
is always better than the bottom bun. It's got a curve, okay? So for that, we're gonna raise this up and bevel it a little bit more. Two bevels instead of one this time, and check it out. This will be our top bun. It probably should go even higher than that, though. We'll go something like this for now. And then, of course, Shade Smooth and Auto Smooth for both of those. All right, let's go ahead and uh, move this way, way up. Up next, what we need on our burger would be an actual burger. That would make sense. So, cylinder SZ to scale this down. I'm gonna add a loop cut right here in the middle. I'll actually add two of them, scale those out, and this is gonna be our burger, guys. So, Shade Smooth and Auto Smooth, of course. There we go, we have a burger on the bun now. Up next, we need a nice slice of cheese on this bad boy. So we're going to make a plain perfect. Nice, nice, nice. We'll scale this down a little bit. I don't know exactly how I want to do this part, but I would love to make the, the cheese kind of lay over on the sides. But I don't know exactly how I want to do that. First off, let's solidify and just get, you know, some dense cheese in here. Apply that. And I guess we'll go ahead and just add some loop cuts. Something like this. I'll grab the edge lines here. Turn on proportional editing and just uh, kind of bring it down. Might not exactly be my best bet here. All right, I'm grabbing these corners, moving them up like this. Oh, I should probably grab the middle as well. All right, so I've kind of uh, scuffed this whole piece of cheese, but at least now it can kind of lay over on the burger a little bit, okay? And the middle's not really going to matter too much because it will be uh, kind of covered up. So let's kind of put this down here. We are going to have to flatten it out a bit. All right, so I think this actually turned out really good. It took me a little bit of time to uh, lay it how I wanted it to lay, but I think it looks pretty all right now. We're going to scale it up a little bit, just like that should do. Up next, let's go ahead and put on some pickles. Okay, guys, so boom. Oh, I also need to uh, keep all of these separated as well. Uh, I'll do that afterwards, I suppose. No, I'm not. I'm gonna do it right now. So here's the cheese. Yes. All right. Here's the the patty. Yes. And then the bun. I'm trying to keep it very separated because you guys will be able to get all of these assets when I'm done with what I'm working on. But uh, yeah, I definitely need to keep going before I kind of explain it or spoil it to everybody. Cylinder. Okay. We got to cut this back down. Okay. We're gonna go eight sides. Then S and Z. Because, bro, these are small, okay? They're going to be little pickles. And I'm thinking we'll go ahead and inset this just a little bit, like so. That's perfect for me. And now we can put these on the bread. Or, or, or not on the bread, on the cheese. There's going to be someone in the comments like, bro, you put your pickles on top of the cheese? Bro, that's weird. <laughs> I don't know what order people make burgers in, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I'm just kind of going with it. So... After this, guys, I want to do the same thing. So we're going to grab one of these, shift D, make it bigger, move it up, and uh, it's kind of just going to... Oh, no, these should probably go on the bottom since they're bigger. All right, we're putting uh, two of these. These are going to be like the tomatoes, guys. And the pickles are going to just kind of sit on top of them. I guess I can kind of uh, rotate them so they look like they're actually sitting on top. That'd be pretty cool. There we go. This guy... Uh, you could come on over here, get raised up. All right, something like that will work. How would you make lettuce? Like, I have no idea how to make some lettuce, guys. I'm not even gonna lie to you. All right, I have an idea here. I'm going to grab... I just duplicated the cheese. All right, I'm gonna grab this. Uh, check or deselect. It's not gonna work great. Uh, <laughs> all right, and I'm gonna scale them in like this. And then I need to fix the, uh, the way, way points. Like, those don't need to be that pointy. We could probably do a quick little bevel like this, just to, uh, to make them not so horrible to look at. Little bevel. All right. It's definitely prickly, but I think it'll work out. And then we need our top bun. Oh, I don't know if this burger is even gonna look good, guys. But we'll go ahead and, uh, we'll texture it all. And I think it might hopefully look okay. So let's join all that together just to make it quite nice. And I am going to texture everything and then I'll be back. I'll get it all assembled on the tray and everything like that. All right, guys, while I'm assembling this tray, uh, we definitely need more assets. And my scaling is probably horrible. Like this could probably be a bit smaller. I guess compared to the burger, it's okay. Now, we definitely need some more stuff. So I'm thinking those little cups that people put like ketchup in and we definitely need a thing of french fries so yeah let's do that this thing 
can get like i don't even know it, it needs some help like the tray is not really proportional at all so i'm gonna shrink this this way and maybe even this way a little bit something like that is probably quite a bit better put these over here let's grab the napkins move those a little bit the burger and there we go now guys i need to make these little cups um that's gonna be super simple so for the cup shape something like this and then we do need uh some you know something in here so we'll put something in that here in a little bit let's put those up here on our tray though to help complete our lunch look uh and they probably need to be scaled like this a little bit there we go all right so we'll have probably two of these i would say just like this and we'll put two different types of uh sauces and stuff in those and now we need to make some fries for sure let me join these together add on a material real quick and make that somewhere like this there we go now the fries may actually take me a good little second so i'll be back when i get them done all right so i made some french fries they're right over there and then i figured out like a i might as well add some more stuff because yeah might as well have more food so i've been working on a hot dog as you can see pretty uh pretty awesome <laughs> i think i'm gonna grab these lines here uh shift d raise them up j oh gosh let me turn off proportional editing raise those up a little bit and then do p selection we're gonna grab only onto that line what the heck is happening with this hot dog i will figure that out in a minute now i want to add uh probably we'll just do like one cut in between each of these and then we'll do select checker deselect perfect get them positioned just like this and then we're gonna have a and we're gonna bevel all oh wait 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 i gotta do a uh, control shift b there we go nice looks good to me and now we should probably add like a skin modifier to this there's the skin modifier nice make it a lot smaller perfect and we could add a subdivision surface modifier to this as well just to kind of round everything off we'll apply both of those add well we could just kind of group these all together i need to apply this modifier as well and guys there we go we now have a hot dog as well so i think now we can wrap that one up let me uh let me make some room for the hot dog here we'll put the burger in the back over here with the fries the fries kind of hanging off a little bit we'll go something like that and now the burger can sit back here i am gonna delete one napkin because i just i'm not fancying it uh and then the hot dog we'll put right up here rotate this a little bit so it's not all stagnant there we go guys and then we need to line it up with the ground of the tray wow the hot dog should not be uh, a lot taller than the hamburger here we're gonna have to run it like this and there we go guys there is our lunchtime food if you did enjoy this video and you want to see more content like this make sure to like comment and subscribe have a great day later